painter. In this video, we're going to show you how we go about prepping a garage floor to get it ready for epoxy. We're going to be putting on an industrial epoxy from Sherwin Williams, and the floor itself, we're going to be taking and using muriatic acid to etch the floor because the concrete, if the concrete is too smooth and it's not rough enough, the epoxy won't bond to the concrete. So we're going to show you how we go about getting it ready. I've got muriatic acid, and this is what we're using to etch the floor. And I've got a, a plastic pump sprayer, and I actually add the muriatic acid into the pump sprayer, and I typically don't use it 100%. I use about 75% acid and 25% water. And I'll show you, we're gonna go ahead and mix our acid and water together. You wanna make sure you don't use this acid anywhere, on the concrete anywhere. You wanna do it someplace where um, it's not gonna kill any plants or cause any problems and just in case you spill it. Now I'm over here on the side of the yard that it doesn't matter if I get the acid on the ground. And the acid just for safety reasons too, uh, we've got a hose sitting here right here and the hose just in case you spill some acid or something, the hose and water will dilute the acid. You want to use a sprayer that's all plastic. If you get a metal sprayer, the acid will uh, ruin the metal. So we use a sprayer that's all plastic with plastic tips. I'm going to be using rubber boots this whole time too. If you just wear regular shoes. The acid could ruin your shoes. I've got water here running just in case I get any on my hands or anything. I've got a respirator that you definitely want to have filters. That's um, good enough for the acid because once you start working inside the garage, the acid is going to be pretty hard for you to breathe. And I just filled my bucket up. I'm going to want to wet this area around here just to dilute anything just in case you spilled anything. And then when I walk across the driveway, if Anything, any spilled on the driveway, you'd be able to rinse it off with this hose. I go ahead and hit stop. Now I'm going to start adding, pumping up my sprayer. So the acid will start to come out. I'm gonna start spraying it. I'm just gonna work from one corner and work my way across the garage, and I'll show you how I go about doing that. When I'm spraying this acid, you wanna spray it down, and you should see it. You'll start to see it turn yellow. And when it's yellow, it's actively etching and eating away the concrete. And you want to spray enough where it's actually etching it away. As it eats it away, I can rub my feet on it to make sure it, I can feel it rough enough. And I've been doing it for enough years that I can tell when it gets rough enough. But you want it to be fairly rough. If you see any dirt spots, any oil spots, you can spray a little more acid on those oil spots.
Once you get your acid all sprayed on the concrete floor, I immediately get a water hose and I'm going to start flushing the acid up and diluting it with water towards the front of the garage because I don't want it to run out onto this part of the garage and, and actually stain the concrete outside the garage. He happens to have drains inside this garage, so the water actually won't flow out here. But if there's no drains in the garage, the water will start to flow out here. So you want to get it pushed up so you don't see any yellow anymore. If you see it yellow, that means the, the acid's still active. Good stop it. here and you don't want to walk onto the concrete outside the garage until you rinse off your shoes because if you have acid on your shoes you'll leave footprints across the driveway. And to make sure that my floor is rough enough, I just take my shoes and I want to rub on it or take your hand and it should feel, you know, about like 100 grit sandpaper. Not, not too rough like 80, but about 100 grit would feel about good. And if it feels like it's 100 grit sandpaper, then it's rough enough that the epoxy will bond to it. Now I'm going to get my power washer ready. And you got to power wash this thing because you got to get all the, the concrete dust that it actually creates get it up out of the pores of the concrete and that'll even make it rougher. When I'm done with the muriatic acid bottles I'm going to take and rinse them out thoroughly before I dispose of them and make sure that you, I'm going to rinse it out in a dirt area that way the acid will get diluted and not harm anything. Once I was done with my sprayer I ran it all out of acid set it out in the middle of the garage and I grabbed my hose to rinse my sprayer off, fill it up full of water, and get it all clean, get all the acid diluted before power. Come washing. back my second day, and I've checked my floor to make sure that it's got a nice profile to it, that it's rough enough to accept the epoxy. And there were some spots that were a little bit too smooth still over here, and so I actually went and sprayed some more muriatic acid on those areas. And now I'm going to power wash it one more time.